Okay, we're making Tennessee caviar. Um, there's all kinds of recipes all over the South for different kinds of, of dips that kind of have a Southwestern kind of feel to it and that involve you know, black beans or sometimes they use corn or pin, I've seen pinto beans. This, however, is the very best one you're ever going to run across. Now, most of those recipes are called uh, caviar of some kind, and I'm from Tennessee, so this is the Tennessee caviar. This is also one of my absolute favorite things to have sitting in the fridge for when the kids get back from school because they end up snacking on absolute fabulous lean protein and lots of fresh veggies, and it doesn't get any better than that. I also like to take this to parties and it never fails. It goes first thing. All right, so here's what we're going to start out with. Now, normally I cook dried beans myself ahead of time, but even I don't usually have three different types of fresh or freshly cooked off dried beans. I use the canned kind. So we got one can of black bean, a can of golden hominy. You know, hominy is just corn. Don't be afraid of the hominy. And then we also have uh, black bean or black eyed peas. See? So lots of awesome fiber and protein right there. Okay, so our veggies. These are about three Roma tomatoes that I diced up. I have two big fat cloves of garlic and a white onion. Let's get him over here. Now, if you don't like it spicy, just use all bell pepper. In my case, I've got some tiny diced jalapeno. If you like it spicy, use serrano. I've got one bell pepper that I diced up, and I have about three big fat green onions. You know, green onions, they're called scallions, they're called spring onions. Just another flavor of the onion and or garlic family. It's a nice balance. All right, now, you can use bottled Italian dressing if you want to. It won't be very good. Now, I made a really quick homemade Italian dressing. You throw the dried seasonings in and you can stash it until you're ready for it. And then you just add a little oil and vinegar. So that's what this is. And I'd say I've got just over a cup and a half. I'm probably not going to use all of it. Although, every time I make this, my daughter says, use more sauce. She likes, uh, she likes the liquid that gathers in the bottom. Now, this is all there is to this. Now, you probably will want to allow this to come together in the refrigerator for about an hour or two. It really does get better when it sits there. And because I did not have very much salt at all um, in my dressing, I like to salt it after I've you know had a taste and see how it's all going to come together, you probably will want to hit this with salt. Another really nice thing, if you happen to have fresh lime juice, don't use bottled lime juice, but if you happen to have fresh lime juice, give this a squeeze of fresh lime juice too. Okay, so, let's taste this and see how we're doing. I do like a little more dressing. All right, so what I'm gonna do, Stick this in the fridge, let everybody come together, and then when my ravenous hordes get home from school this afternoon, this is what's going to keep them from uh, taking over my kitchen while I get supper ready. There you go. Tennessee caviar, lightning fast, super yummy, really good for you doesn't get any better than that right there. If you like this video and you want more break tips, tricks, and techniques, check out the website at ThrillBillyGourmet.com. You can like me on Facebook under The Thrill Billy Gourmet, and you can follow me on Twitter under Jan Charles or The Thrill Billy. I'm on Pinterest now too under Jan Charles. I've also got two brand new podcasts, both of which you can find on iTunes. The Throw Billy Gourmet and The Food City Kitchen on WVLT with Chef Walter Lambert and Jan Charles. Now, make sure you subscribe and you can ask a question, you can leave a comment, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks 